Hello and welcome to the Veracity PDE Reading Salt Test Preview. These are some of the recent exam questions from the reading section of the PDE. So the first question that we are looking at today is a reading passage which has a multiple choice question along with multiple response. It says in the directions on the top that more than one response is correct and therefore we know that we have to mark more than one option that means minimum two options so on the right hand side you can see that there are five options that are given so take your time go through the text go through the question solve it um, you know and once you have that um, answer in front of you then check out the solution and see whether you got it right Let us look at the next question. This is also the same type. Uh, that is, you have a passage along with multiple choice options and more than one response is correct. You should mark at least two options. You can mark more than two as well if you are sure of your answer. Please do not leave it unattempted. Don't mark only one option because you will not uh, you know, get those points. So make sure that you are marking at least two options here. Okay, so now you have um, the allocated time as per the test around uh, two to three minutes to solve one question. So go ahead and solve it along with the video. Do not take any extra time and then check your answer.
Okay, let us look at the next item. This is a re or a paragraph. Again, you have around three minutes to solve this question. Take your time, give it your best shot, and then refer to the answer key. And make sure that you, um, you know, take notes and you go through our Ryoto paragraph lessons which are given on this channel to understand the concepts and strategies better. Okay, I'm going to share the explanation for this question. If you look at it, genetic discrimination is understood to be, that is a definition. So therefore, the concept is being defined in this sentence. Therefore, this is clearly the opening sentence. In bracket, the abbreviation is given, which is GD, and that helps us form the next uh, you know, sentence. We must recognize that GD is nothing new. So GD and the definition and the abbreviated version and then the abbreviation is referred to uh, in the immediate next sentence another reason why this is uh, the second sentence is that it forms a pair with sentence number three as well this is nothing new nothing new means it's old there were is past tense and 1900s so therefore it is nothing new it is old there were similar uh, sort of genetic discrimination policies in the 1900s if you do not understand eugenics at least you can see genics something related to genes even if you don't understand uh, the vocabulary completely that's not a problem you had to look at what is um, you know the simplest clue right so nothing new you understand that that means that it has been going on for a long while now right so that's how we get that pair with nothing new and there were in the 1900s as well that means it's so old right and of course gd and gd right so that's we are we actually have two pairs here um the next one is pretty straightforward these led to laws what leads to laws policies lead to laws right okay so uh, this sentence i have to form a pair i can uh, look for what are these which are leading to laws in and if i have a little bit of uh, you know practical knowledge of the world so you have policies first and then the policies are used to form laws um even if you did not catch this it would not be a problem because you have a very uh, easy pair over there the last pair 
uh, that is a range of conditions and such conditions so if you form that pair then you will it will automatically all fall into place so overall there were uh, one two three four four total connections even if you identified three out of those four connections you would get this answer right the first sentence defined genetic discrimination and the next sentence refers to it uh, again as GD then it says it's nothing new it has been going on since the 1900s these policies have led to laws uh, then there's a reference to a range of conditions and such conditions covered those with right so you'll see that there's a completely logical flow here uh, and this is an easy question to attempt if you are aware of the strategies and if you are solving it like this step by step um, Again, you can go back to the channel and look for our other Riora Paragraph lessons to understand this better. But please make sure that you understand the concepts and you're not really uh, worrying about the time when you're learning and you're preparing. You really want to focus on the accuracy uh, so that you can get 79 plus on the reading section. Re remember that you can also get a 79 plus very easily if you follow all the strategies and all the pointers and all the updates. PD has been continuously upgrading the questions as well as the scoring system. So please make sure that you stay aware and you stay focused on your preparation. You can subscribe to the channel now to receive a discount offer on all our courses as well as our uh, study material pack. Uh, if you want to receive any latest updates or if you have any queries regarding the PDE, please feel free to send us an email at veracitymentors.org at gmail.com. You can also send in your previous uh, scorecards so that we can analyze it and help you uh, through um, you know your issues and make sure that you get the uh, target score that you are aiming for uh, but please remember that be patient and give yourself enough preparation time uh, you know a lot of students contact us like uh, maybe two three days before the test which definitely is not sufficient um, looking at the kind of uh, you know changes and upgrades that the test has gone through so please make sure that you are uh, spending a good amount of time in your preparation and you're really valuing it and taking it seriously so that you can get 79 plus in your next attempt uh, rather than you know wasting time in retaking it again and again without actual proper preparation right so please make sure that you get all the right guidance and uh, subscribe to the channel i hope that this uh, sold test uh, series is be, is helpful for you uh, please make sure that you um, keep checking out the channel because we'll be uploading more and more uh, latest questions and solved papers uh, so take care and thank you for today